So I just came up from picking tomatoes and I'm wondering if Coho got out because the screen door was pushed open. It might have been Sadie too. So was that you Sadie? Uh oh. Well, here's one of those moments where when I would normally be not happy. Yeah, bad boy. Normally I'd be not happy that he's up there, but I'm thankful he was because he may have snuck out. Because this door bounces back open. You're going to have to lock it, I think. Who was up enjoying my lunch? Apparently he was, because I see lick marks on my plate. I just heated up some taco meat to put on a taco shell. And he was licking his chops. He was standing up here enjoying my lunch while I'm outside picking tomatoes. But I'm actually thankful because I thought he had just gotten out. Well, this is pretty cool. One of my viewers made a comment and said, uh, why not get a piece of driftwood for the cats? And that was a fantastic suggestion. This is actually a piece of uh, cactus that I got at a flea market for two bucks. Can you imagine? That's a really good deal. And the cat loves it. Checking out his new scratching post. It's actually a piece of cactus. Pretty cool. And it fits our decor. Can you tell a new sign is going up? My wife Karen has dug this out of the garage. We used to actually live on this street called South Minnesota Street. Isn't that cool? Uh, I loved it when we lived on Minnesota Street. That's the best name for a street that a guy could ever have. Good evening, Kitty. Oh, aren't you beautiful with the sun basking behind your head, setting for the day. It's been a good day. Yes, it has, and you're a good kitty. Uh, sorry, no, don't eat the begonias. Now i got to look it up and see if begonias are poisonous for cats. Now I can see why I don't have any flowers hanging around. No. Mason doesn't like being chewed out. No, no, no eating my flowers. He's actually pretty good if I tell him no several times on any one particular thing. He squints at me. <laughs> that means he's kind of mad that I'm chewing him out or he's also maybe feeling bad that he did something I didn't approve of. But he didn't squint at me this time, so that's pretty cool. That would be an Instagram picture right there. Hold on. Okay, what was I up to? I was going to feed you, right? You want to eat? You look so small in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> Mason has discovered that he likes kitty food. But we got to try and keep him away from the kitty food because kitty food is set up specifically for kitties. It has the extra nutrients and vitamins and I don't know what in it. I'm not, it sounds like I'm advertising something. Definitely not advertising something right now. But uh, I'm just saying that I feel bad for Mason because it, it feels like I'm giving special treatment to the baby kitten. And I'm not. Um, well, I am because he needs kitten food, but... I'm not going to feed Mason kitten food all the time because he'll gain weight. And he's got just the right amount of weight right now. He's three years old, so he doesn't need kitten food. Look, Sadie, how would you like a piece of watermelon? Yeah, you're already drooling. <laughs> what, you want watermelon too? Well, I'll have to look it up and see if cats can have watermelon. I know dogs can but I haven't looked it up for cats. I bet you guys would like it too. Uh-oh, who's up on the countertop? Yeah, down. It's part of his training. <laughs> Look, he's all scrunchy now. Poor little guy. Nope, but we don't tolerate cats on the countertop, so... It's a little squirt of water, and off he goes. He's learning fast. He, although today he 
breached that truss and jumped up on the counter. Don't don't think about jumping on the table either, little guy. There are two places we don't allow kittens. Or cats. Right, Mason? You know the drill. Eventually you won't even need water. You just say, kitty, kitty, kitty. You looking for watermelon? You looking for watermelon? Never given the cats watermelon before. Or the dog, for that matter. You want a piece of watermelon? This is a first for Sadie. Okay, take a bite. Mmm. Is that yummy or what? She takes it so gently. <laughs> Don't eat the rind though. You can't eat the end. There you go. Oh boy, Sadie. You gotta get an Instagram picture of that. Quite yummy, isn't it? I got this idea from somebody else on YouTube. I don't remember who, but then I looked it up to make sure dogs can have watermelon, and yes, they can. But I wouldn't give them too much because they'll get their runs, you know. You sure wouldn't want that. She sure likes it. I like how she holds her ears back. <laughs> Good girl. You like that stuff? Ooh, wait till I show Kate this. Rolla will like some watermelon too at the lake. We'll give them some next week when we get there. There you go. Have fun. Don't let them eat the rind though, because the rinds have, that's basically the barrier to keep the fruit clean, and you don't know what's going to be in the rind. Now, I didn't look up if they can eat the rind, but she's being good and eating the right spot, huh? Now I get a piece for me. We're serving this in the evening so that the flies don't bother her. Because the flies love watermelon. Now we get to see if kitties like watermelon. Look you guys. Yummy. Sit Sadie. There's some watermelon for you guys. I'll have to clean the floor when they get done. I hate sticky spots. You don't like that Mason? You don't want watermelon? You don't either? Sadie's like, I'll eat the watermelon. <laughs> Here, Mason. Check it out. You're supposed to like it. Well, when I looked it up on the internet, it did say that cats can't taste sweet. Which, I don't know, that's what that site says. Want some off my thumb? No, not even that. Look, Mason. Maybe Mason's thinking, well, that's human food. I can't eat human food. Which is true. Here. You're welcome to it. Here. No? <laughs> you just want to be petted instead. Oh, I got watermelon juice on my fingers. Just put a little on your nose. <laughs> See? Get a taste of it. You might like it. There you go. No? Yeah? I like how Coho shakes his foot like he's like, ooh, I don't want to get that stuff on my feet. It'd be sticky. How about if I make it rock? No? Not even then? Oh, yeah, I'd rather eat a piece of string instead. He's been carrying that around. No. But now it looks like he's trying to eat it. No, you're not going to eat that. Sorry. But you want to play, don't you? Kitty just fooled me into playing. Right when I wanted to eat watermelon. <laughs> you're going to get wet feet. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're still a playful boy, aren't you? 
Okay, I'm going to throw that away because I have a feeling you're going to eat it. There you go, Sadie. Good girl. One important note when you give your dog watermelon, there are two things you cannot let the dog have, and that is seeds and the rind. So make sure your dog does not eat the rind. So take it away when they get down to the nub. And uh, make sure that they don't get any seeds. So I have a seedless watermelon, so we're good to go here. But if you had seeds in that piece of watermelon, you'd have to remove those pieces of seeds because it can cause intestinal blockage. And if you've ever had a dog have that, there's the other end of that, and that's when it's not blocked anymore. So you can use your imagination to figure out what to do about that. Did you like your watermelon? Was it good? Do you want another piece? Mm -hmm. So Mason knows it's getting close to bedtime, and he's actually verbalizing to me that he would like me to go to bed now. You want to go to the night? Is that what you? It's his favorite time of day, other than getting food, of course. But uh, yeah, he always talks to me when it's bedtime. <laughs> okay, now he's sitting on me, so he's like, "Quit typing on the keyboard." And go night-night. Okay, Mason. Off to bed. Good night, you two.